Hi, and welcome to another Speed Trap Consulting introduction and turbo description of an off the shelf turbocharger from Garrett. Today we're looking at the GTX line and the smaller to mid frame size turbos. We've always shown a lot of the larger ones. But today we're looking specifically at the GTX 2867R steel ball bearing turbocharger. As usual, we'll go through our main categories of engine size application, power level and characteristics, purpose, composition, specifications, and drawbacks, which is a new category that we're bringing in. Uh, before we go into the specifications and engine size application, just a little bit about the why these videos are being made, actually. The purpose of these videos really is to be able to give someone who is a potential purchaser of this turbo a real-world view uh, as to what the turbocharger has its capability of doing. We all love seeing uh, dyno videos, uh, racing videos, um, and those even on the street that show how these power level and characteristics are being used in terms of a real world basis and a specific application. But a lot of times, because of the fact that these turbochargers can be so very expensive, it's best to be able to give a feel, taste, and touch look um, of these turbos to make sure that they are aware, any potential user is aware of um, additional equipment that's necessary, um, finding out what size fittings and water fittings are going to be needed, um, if it's easily integratable, or if it's even the right size application for their particular needs. The one thing that we found is that uh, there's nothing worse than investing a lot of money into a brand new turbocharger only to find that no matter what you try and do to be able to integrate it, uh, even looking online in certain forms, uh, sometimes it's not just able to work for you. So this is a great way of getting a feel, taste, and touch with it as though someone were just handing one in front of you and showing you what it's all about. So with that said, let's get going. So for the engine size application, really uh, despite what uh, the article it shows and the specification shows on turbobygarrett.com uh, we found that the best size application niche for this is the 1.8 to 2.5 liter four cylinder category uh, for as a twin set the 2.5 to 3.7 liter category and again as a twin set the four liter to six liter v8 category uh, the reason why we're staying this within the twin set in the six and eight cylinder categories is because let's just be honest here uh, very few if no one is really going to use these small of a turbocharger uh, in the gt28 series uh, for these large displacement engines as a single turbocharger uh, in the four cylinder category it makes more sense uh, but in the twin set uh, for the six and eight cylinder categories, we know that most individuals who are trying to use this, especially for a street strip setup uh, or even for a track, is going to use this for that kind of purpose as opposed to as a single unit. Well, let's look into the purpose. Really, uh, it's threefold. Uh, really, it's more like an all-purpose application uh, to be used as an upgrade from those that have, perhaps, a factory turbocharger application. Uh, yes, this doesn't necessarily include any additional kits or hardware that uh, a lot of the upgrades would require, but it does help in terms of knowing that the cartridge and compressor housing sizes are going to be able to fit with a lot of OEM applications that are simply trying to upgrade and enhance uh, the characteristics that they're already experiencing from the factory. We know though that people say that the factory knows best, but in a lot of circumstances, like most uh, people that want to be able to use performance turbochargers, they want more. And this is a great way of being able to upgrade your factory KO3 or KO4 turbocharger that you have on uh, a lot of platforms uh, from the VF39 uh, on the Subarus to the KO3 and KO4 platforms of Audi and the new Ford Focus ST. Uh, what it really does is it enhances that initial torque that the two liter engines are able to produce but give a lot more upper end RPM range power uh, than the factory is able to give and do it with a lot less boost pressure and a lot less heat exhaust. So uh, that's the purpose of these particular turbochargers. Well, let's look at the power level and characteristics of this. Uh, for the 1.8 liter to 2.5 liter four cylinder, these are good to about 350 wheel horsepower. Um, especially uh, at over 20 pounds of boost pressure. So a bit more than your typical uh, Disco Potato or GT2871R. For the 2.5 to 3.7 liter category, especially in the twin set, we've seen these as good so far as about 750 wheel horsepower. Uh, many kits that are made for the 370 and 350Zs, um, as well as uh, some other six cylinder custom platforms, uh, we've really been able to see a lot of power, uh, a kick out of these in the uh, 650 to 750 uh, horsepower platform on the six cylinders. 
For the eight-cylinder platform, we've seen easily 750 to almost 800 wheel horsepower with the twin set of these. Uh, a lot of these are a little bit higher boost pressure at about 13 to 17 pounds boost, um, but the great part about that is the fact that these are in such a nice compact size housing, uh, you can't beat the fact that you're getting that much uh, in two small turbochargers that's able to be able to work with the stock engine configuration. Let's look at the, uh, the, the composition. This is an all Garrett turbocharger. Uh, what it's using basically is your standard TO4B compressor cover. This is really popular to use on a lot of platforms. Uh, but more specifically, uh, if you see inside here, this is actually a ported shroud. Uh, this 11 blade billet wheel comes with a ported shroud in it uh, from Garrett. Okay, and it comes in a 602 inch outlet. Okay, so this is a full Garrett turbocharger. Nothing that Speed Trap has ever done to change or enhance this to make it better because honestly, it's pretty good as it says. This is a full steel uh, Garrett uh, ball bearing uh, cartridge, and a lot of the fittings and water fittings, oil feed sets are uh, actually very compatible. Uh, with this particular turbocharger. So those that are using uh, a GTX or GT30 all the way up to the 35R, you're going to use the same size uh, particular fittings and oil restrictors as you would uh, for those particular sizes. And then of course, uh, this is the turbine wheel, which is about a 54 millimeter uh, wheel diameter. It's definitely a lot larger than those from the KO3 and KO4 platforms that are used from Audi and, and the uh, Ford Focus EcoBoost, uh, but not so large as to be able to get a whole lot of top end power from a single unit. So it's limited in its capability to about um, uh, 2.5 to 3 uh, pressure ratios for it. So I like this uh, for the fact that it's compact and it really allows for a lot of versatility for this. Well, let's look at the specifications. Uh, a lot of these you can be able to find on turbobygarrett.com. Uh, to show you what the inducer and exducer sizes are uh, for the compressor wheel. So I'll give you, as well as the exhaust wheel, so I'll give you basically uh, the size diameters of uh, the outer components that you're able to see. So here you're looking at a three inch inlet right here, okay? Two inch outlet on the compressor, all right? And for the cartridge itself, this is using a 7 16 by 24 um, thread uh, fitting for this. Uh, for anybody that's going to be having any pressure over 60 pounds of oil pressure, I really recommend using a 30 thousandths restrictor for this, even though there is a small dowel slash restrictor already seated inside uh, the cartridge and cage. Uh, on the water fittings, uh, we're using the same uh, 14 millimeter uh, to dash 6 type of uh, uh, water feed fittings. You are going to need this in order to be able to run the turbocharger properly. And of course underneath you're having uh, your GT style flange. I recommend using um, a female style flange to be able to use this and uh, not a male one unless uh, this is going off of a, a factory application. So for uh, the compressor inducer you're looking at about uh, 49.71 millimeter on the inducer, 69.4 on the exducer, on the turbine side of this cartridge, you're easily looking at about uh, 46.2 millimeter on the exducer and about 53.1, uh, 53.9 on the wheel diameter out here. So it's still shared with a lot of the uh, GT series ball bearing turbochargers that are out there.